We are going to see how we can turn on four channel relay, either an AC or DC bulb by pressing push button, turn on and push it again, turn off or any other channels on this. Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. In many application, you need to control four switches or four load, let's say AC or DC with a push button. This is an example and the code that accomplishes that. Uh, uh, you can press each switch separately and independently, turn on each channel, and the channel will stay on without an interruption when you press the other button. So uh, this will be accomplished. Uh, the module that I'm using is a low trigger module with four relay. It has driver with a transistor and everything, so the circuitry will be very easy. I'm just using four channels for the in control of this and two more wires, four wires for this and two wires for the power ground and um, VCC. And then we need just four wires for the uh, push buttons and here I'm using four push buttons. I'm going to explain the wiring. After that, I'm going to explain the code and at the end, I'm going to demonstrate it. In all my videos, I will have a quick jump link so you can go to different section of the video by clicking at the link, which is in the description. Let me explain the wiring. First, for the switches, I will remove these four wires for the switches. I have put these four push buttons. These push buttons have uh, two pin. You can get the four pin. Two on one side will be on and two on the other side, so they're the same. I'm just pushing it one in between, so between one and the third. So my push button in here. Now this push button is connected in this line and the other pin is connected in this line. Same way for this one, this line and this line. And for the third one, same way, this line and this line. The middle one is no pin and also the last one. I've connected the left wire, the left pin of this to the left pin of this uh, switch. And the left pin of this is connected via this wire to the left of this switch and from here it's connected to the left of this and from here I have connected it to the ground of Arduino. Now these four wires on the right side I have connected them here like that and these are from this side they have been connected to pin 2, 3, 4, 5. Relay, as you can see here, I put here 8, 9, 10 and 11 and I've connected it from this side. This orange is connected, as you can see, to N1 and then N2, N3 and N4. And at, the, at this side, this is VCC, this is ground. I try to put the red for VCC, usually that's the convention, and the darkest color black for the ground. So VCC 5 volts is connected here to 5 volts and ground is connected to the ground. Because this, this relay is 5 volts and the Arduino is able to handle uh, the current for this through 5 volts, that's fine. If your relay is 12 volts, you can still use the 12 volts relay, but make sure instead of VCC, connect it to your uh, 12 volt source. This is an AC desktop bulb, and this is a power plug that I connected to the wall and 120 volts, which will turn on and off. Now, at this point, I've cut one of these two wires at this point and twisted it and soldered it can be connected to relay. Job of relay is to connect this and the AC bulb is on or AC load, whatever fan you have and disconnect it to turn it off. So I will be connecting these two to the relay. From here I've connected my two wires. These three pins are for this relay. One, two, three. And then these three are for this relay. 
So each relay has three pens, and I'm using the two left side of this pen. These two pens are used for this relay. If you want to connect the next load, connect it between these two pens. These are called normally open. When the relay is energized, the two wires will be connected and the light will be on. If you connect it in these two wires, the middle and on that side, initially the light will be on and when the relay is energized, the light will turn off. The same way for all of these. And this also has four light. I have separate video explaining this, so I will post the uh, link for you. You can view it. I will not. I'm not gonna go through the other explanation and components. And here is the wiring diagram. I will provide you this one with the code in the same page. Let me explain now the code. Because we are using four push buttons, we need to have four inputs. So I've defined it from uh, Arduino from two to five, two, three, four, five for the push button. You can def define different pins if you wish. And this array is a constant of type integer that's holding these values. So during the execution of the code, it will not be changed because it's constant. After that, we are defining four pen, digital pen as an output. So the relays will be connected in here. You can also change it as long as there is no conflict in between them. This is just for cosmetic purpose, like this, channel 4 or something. So these are just the text. Uh, is used to display the, the text here. You can change it as long as you keep the quotation, whatever you want, put inside and do not use double quotation in your text. It will work. And then this, do not change it. This is the status of each button. Initially, we set them as zero, not pushed. And then, and then the status of each relay, because I'm using uh, low trigger relay, initially they should be high, which means they will be off. So this is the initial status uh, that I'm setting. Inside the setup, we have to define an input and output as pens. So I'm using the for loop because I have to copy this, as you can see here, three and times four, I have to copy this four times. Instead of that, I'm using this loop that goes from i equals zero to i smaller than four. So it goes zero, one, two, three. So it goes four times, i changes from zero, one, two, three. And every time it comes here, we pull up from the push button. We When it is zero, we pull two. When it is one, we pull three. So the value as if I type here two or three. And then we use input pull up. I do not use just input, I use pull up to avoid uh, using of extra resistor. I have another video explaining why we need to use the input pull up with a push button. And then also we use for the relay as output. So the push button was as an input and this is now as an output. The same way we pick that those values with this uh, loop. And then also we set all the uh, relay output as high here. The reason for that one is if your relays are high trigger, put here low so they are turned off initially. I set them as high so the relays of are off initially when you turn it on. After that, we go inside the loop. In the loop now, we have to check all the push button status. And again, I use another loop here, which starts from here and ends here. So this goes up to four from zero to three less than four which is four uh, times and then this says digital read push button i when i is zero it goes and pulls the this value and when it's one or two it just changes so we get the pen number we put it here as if i type digital write two it goes to pen two and reads it and the value is stored in val as an integer now this value is the status of the push button and we check it if it is high equal equal high and then relay status is equal low then we change the status how we do is we say that get uh, the, the status subtract uh, from one if the status is zero zero from one is subtract one the result will be one and one will be stored here. If this is one, one from minus one, 
1 will be 0 and 0 will be stored. So this is just arithmetic to change the sets of 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 every time the button is pressed and we give it a 100 millisecond delay for this to happen. After that we store the value of uh, the val whatever was pushed we mm, keep it as a status array it keeps the value for us and then we check here if the push now we kept the value now we have to turn the relay on and we checked if the this status if pushed is equal high then we say print this name this this text is pr printing this for us the serial monitor and then digital write relay pen this i that started that is referring to one of the relay and it will set it low which means we'll turn on the relay otherwise else we print this the word off instead of on and then instead of low we just put high and the relay will be off but remember if you set this to higher value every time you press a push button it will not react so put a small button value like 100 millisecond and this way it will react very quickly but this will print very fast now as you can see when I press it it reacts very quick which is good this is what you want let me now show you the demonstration as you can see the status of relays are shown very quickly you can slow it down if you wish I set this at 100 milliseconds so as you can see all of them are off and the layers are off and if I press this this channel 3 is now on as you can see channel channel 2 is on now channel 4 is on and channel 1 is off at the same time also it shows here if I press 1 channel 1 will be on the, because the light is connected here the other channels will not affect or interrupt or do anything I can press on or off any channel or this one on or off and the others will keep their status but if I restart I've said this that no load will be connected initially so they will be just waiting as you can see all of them are on thanks for watching this was how to use this four channel relay with four push buttons turn on and turn off if you like this video and you learn something from it please thumb up please share it on your facebook and other social media if you have comment or question post it in the comment section below i try to answer and reply also don't forget to sub hit the subscribe button so you can get updates of my upcoming videos i appreciate it